so today we are going to talk about a new topic and this is one of the most important topic in computer science if you want to become a software engineer this is one of the most important topic this topic is called as time and space complexity analysis a lot of people also just term it as algorithm analysis right or algorithm complexity analysis algorithm complexity analysis right so what is this topic all about first of all we need to understand the agenda for this topic that why do you even want to learn this topic why this topic actually makes sense why is it important right just think about it just think about it let's say you want to use the zomato's food ordering app right let's say zomato food panda right any food uh, delivering app uh, you are actually trying to use and let's say you just opened the app you just opened the app and there are a lot of restaurants there are a lot of restaurants getting listed okay but let's say you want to rearrange the restaurants right or that you say that sort or filter the restaurant based on let's say rating that those restaurants which are having higher rating should be present at the top of the screen so it should be a decreasing order of rating you want to rearrange it similar kind of a use case you can even get on the on any e-commerce app let's say you are using something like flipkart or amazon and there are a lot of products getting displayed there are a lot of products getting displayed on Amazon's website let's say you want to buy a new computer or something and let's say here also you want to just filter all the products based on let's say a company or you want to sort them based on the rating right or you want to rearrange them based on their price these kind of operations you want to do right now just think about it now just think about it what kind of experience you will get if this process is very slow for example to rearrange all the restaurants or to rearrange all the products getting rendered on Amazon. Let's say instead of a millisecond, it takes, let's say 10 seconds. I know you might feel 10 second is not very much, but still 10 second is considerable. Do you think you are going to wait for 10 seconds for your Zomato's app to rearrange all of the data on the screen? 10 seconds, not even five seconds. We are going to wait. We are not going to wait even for five seconds, right? Why? Because this is a very simple task and we are going to expect that a scale, uh, 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 an app of a scale of a Zomato or similar to scale of Amazon or Flipkart, they should do these algorithmic operations very easily. This is a very simple algorithm to rearrange a few things, right? So in how much time you are getting an algorithm executed makes sense. You, we are going to build products. You want to become a software engineer. We are not only just going to solve problems, but we are going to build products out of it. And a product is going to be dependent on how smooth your overall process is there in your application. And at a lot of places in your application, things are going to be algorithmic, right? Just think about it. If let's say you are going to put some expression in the calculator and calculator takes one minute to calculate all of that. It's going to be a very bad experience. People are not going to use my calculator or people are not going to use Zomato, right? So having a good experience depends on how fast your algorithm gets executed right overall in the app there are a lot of other things for example there is an internet involved let's say they want to you want to download some images in your app so definitely it, it will depend on kind of like the internet speed and everything those things are separate but let's say something which is based on algorithm something which is algorithmic something which is logical based and that thing is taking a lot of time then that so is a very bad user experience. So efficiency of an algorithm in terms of time is very important. I can definitely state that efficiency of an algorithm in terms of time taken is important that how much time the algorithm is taking. 
right second thing second thing now just think about it if let's say you are running your zomato's application and you want to rearrange all of these restaurants or food items based on their rating and in order to execute this algorithm your zomato's application let's say start taking 512 mb of space or let's say 1 gb of space extra apart from what space has been allocated to your zomato's application apart from that it takes extra space something like that right then what will happen it will add extra burden to my memory right it will add extra burden to my memory yes or no think about it if for executing anything let's say there is a camera application and your camera application is processing some photos on the device only and it, it and it starts taking a lot of memory then also your if let's say your, your phone is not very powerful if it's let's say not having a 8 gig ram let's say it is only having 2 gig ram then the overall user experience will hamper right because the phone will start freezing the other applications which are running in the background might crash or they might restart because this current application is taking most of the space so whatever algorithm you are implementing the efficiency of an algorithm in terms of space slash memory taken is also important can i say that this thing is also important this term is also important and that is why that is why now we know how to we all know how to write basic algorithms it is very important for us to understand how exactly algorithms efficiency is measured with respect to how much time it is going to take and how much space it is going to take because these are one of the most important metrics that exist out there and we have to follow we have to somehow make sure that we write efficient algorithms we write algorithms that are fast that take less space and hence the overall product that we are going to build or the solution that we are going to build is as good as possible